All right, everybody, welcome back. And as the saying has gone for many, many years, get woke, go broke. And right now, looks like the whole network of CW, or what they've done to the DC Universe, they are now for sale. As the headline reads, after embracing wokeness and seeing their ratings plummet across nearly all shows, the CW is for sale. The CW Television Network, jointly owned by Viacom, CBS, and Warner Media, is up for sale following the network's embrace of wokeness and nearly all of their shows' ratings and viewership plummeting. Can't blame it. You know, I watched um, Arrow when it first came out for a few seasons. I watched The Flash for a few seasons. But that was about it. It started getting too too woke, too politically correct. Too many swaps and changes, just like we're seeing here on the screen. You know, Black Batwoman. Not what the character's supposed to be. Let's see, it was first reported by the Wall Street Journal that both Viacom, CBS, and Warner Media were exploring the option of selling the network. Joe Flint detailed, AT&T, AT&T's Warner Media and Viacom CBDS Incorporated are exploring a possible sale of a significant stake or all of the CW network, which they jointly own, according to people familiar with the matter. I mean, they've been around, uh, if I can remember the topic, they've been around since, what, 2005, 2006? And I don't think they've ever made a profit. Flint went on to write, among the suitors for his Next Star Media Group, Incorporated, the nation's biggest broadcaster, and a large owner of affiliate networks, the people close to the talk said. Yeah, Next Star Media, I oh know it owns some of our uh, TV stations here, where I live at. And the report was all but confirmed when CW boss Mark Petowitz, Pet, Pet, Pet oh, what a great last name. In a memo he sent to CW employees that was attained by Hollywood Reporter. In the memo, Petowitz wrote, I'm sure you've seen the recent speculation in the press around the CW, so I want to take the opportunity to address this with you directly and share with you what we know. That's when he stated, First, as many of you were, over the past year or so, this transforming the time of our industry when you've been destroying it has led to a series of business activity across media and content campaigns. Companies. Given the environment right now, Viacom, CBS, and Warner Brothers are exploring strategic opportunities to optimize the value of their joint venture in the CW network. It's too early to speculate what might happen, but we promise to keep you updated as we learn more. I mean, you're for sale when nobody knows if they're going to have a job or if they're even going to be able to sell it. I mean, the network doesn't make money and they're losing viewers over and over and over. But he continues on, so what does this mean for us right now? That means we must continue to do what we do best, make the CW as successful and vibrant as we have always done. Um... You haven't done that in a long time. We have a lot of work to do ahead of us this season with more original programming than ever. This season's expansion to Saturday night. Our growing digital and streaming platforms and we thrive when we come together and build the CW together, Petowitz concluded. I mean, you can tell how bad it's, it's fallen off. I mean, I think Walker is the biggest show they had this past year, viewer-wise. But as the TV series finale reports, Walker, the best series, ha- the best series has seen in viewership decline by almost 30% year over year. It averages per episode is currently about 934,000 people, and it has a 1.2 rating in the. 18 to 49 age demographic. 
Oh, here's some nice charts. Let's see. Year to year change. Walker 30. The Flash 12. All American. Batwoman. Well, that was crap to start with, but don't know how it could go down much further. I mean, this is just ridiculous. No wonder they're trying to get rid of them. I mean, here's a, here's a huge list. They're they're down completely. But there we have it. And the CW is up for sale. Do you think anybody is going to take a risk and spend the money? Unless they're going to change the entire universe that they built and turn it around. With what's on DC Comics right now and what I've heard and seen, Warner Media, no. It's not going to change. It's going to just keep getting worse. I'm sure Flash will be Flash yet here pretty soon. But hey, thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, click ring the bell, and we'll see you guys next time.